Hello YouTube, this is Tactical Droid, and I've got another review for you in my series that I kind of jokingly called Knives Worth More Than My House. And this one actually is one of those knives that's worth more than my house. Uh, I don't know if you probably know what it is already by looking at that little spider there, and by the design itself and the shape. This is a Kirby Lambert, and I gotta be honest with you, I did some research on this to try and figure out which Kirby Lambert this is, and I cannot figure out for the life of me. Dude's made a lot of knives. Um, I even got in contact with him through uh, Instagram. He did give me some some specs and some uh, material information, all that stuff, but uh, I, I still don't know what kind of knife it is. It is a Kirby Lambert. Just start you off with, uh, God, such a beautiful knife. Well, anyway, I'll do some close-ups in a minute here. Uh... Okay, just jump right in. All, all. Uh, let's see. The length from end to end is eight and three quarter inches. Um, the blade itself is actually a lot longer than it looks. It's a four inch blade. Uh, the blade steel's uh, CPM one fifty four, and uh, the grind on this thing is just incredible. Um, it's a hollow grind, but you know, now now I got to jump right into this. It's a hollow grind, but. It's so, so, so super thin. I mean, it comes to such a fine... I don't know if I'll be able to get a good view of this. Just super, super fine. I've never seen anything that's ground down to such a fine point on the end there. The bevel. Yeah, there's another good view of it. All right, we'll get back into this. Um, like I said, the blade steel is CPM 154. Uh, it's a, it's not a flipper, it's a folding liner lock, if you can see that there. Beautiful lock up, about 30%. Um, I've had this for about a week now, I'm just playing around with it and staring at it and appreciating it from every angle. Uh, as you can see the scales on it, they're wood, it's called iron wood. Really, really pretty. I did uh, review on the Aleshewitz. And it had ironwood too on it, and it's you can't really pick it up in this light. Let's see if I can get my background here. Focus, baby. Yeah, it's not gonna focus for me. Come on. Anyway, the grain, uh, the wood grain in it. There we go. That's a little bit better. It almost looks like. Uh, Damascus steel, just the way it swirls and the cool little patterns that are in it. I wish this camera would pick it up better. Then you see those beautiful bolsters there. Uh, those are obviously uh, Timascus, and they're blued and bronze. It's just a little look at this thing with the naked eye is incredible. You can just stare at it for hours. Big, big thumb studs there left or right, but it is only right-handed uh, tip-down carry, or tip-up carry. If you can see that. The titanium is uh, a bronzed, so is the clip, the thumb stud, and all the hardware. And the liners. The fit and finish on this thing, let's see, get this again. The fit and finish on this thing is gorgeous. The attention to detail that he does is, uh, Above and beyond, I'll just I'll just say that. Now this has phosphor bronze bushings, but it's super super smooth. It's not on IKBS, and it flips out relatively easily. I just love that little spider emblem there. I just think that looks cool. My daughter hates it. She's like, I don't like it. Yeah, it's a pretty knife, but I don't like spiders. Yeah, whatever. She's a girl. <laughs> No offense. All right, let's see what else. The titanium that uh, Kirby uses is a 6AL4V. And let's see, I got some information on his website that I was going to read. If you want to check out some of his other knives, just get on his Instagram account, Lambert Knives. Okay, so I got on his website and he does have like a little mission statement here and it says, I believe that in order to make a superior knife, you must use superior materials. That is why I work with top grade high-tech materials. The steels I generally use in my folders and fixed blades 
our CPM S30V, CPM 154, 154CM, BG42, which I've never heard of, and Damasteel. Uh, the handle materials I mostly use range from G10, micarta, and carbon fiber to mother of pearl and fossilized mammoth ivory. Uh, I exclusively use 6AL4V titanium for the liners in my folders. I mostly make my bolsters from materials such as 6AL4V titanium, Damascus, carbon fiber, Timascus, or Mokume. Um, he goes on a little bit more about his Japanese style fixed blades, but uh, I haven't actually seen any of those. This thing, though, let me tell you, the thumb studs, in my research, I didn't see any other thumb studs that were like this. Uh, they're really big. They've got a real finished, nice finished look about them. And they work. Uh, they're really nestled in there to the bolster, and they work really well. But if you don't get a good uh, purchase on them right away to flip that out, you kind of go around and you do some digging. But once you get used to it, it just flicks right out. And it's buttery, buttery smooth. I mean, it's not... Let's see if you can detent here. Yeah. Perfect. You can see a little bit better there. The detail on those bolsters. And that bronzing. It's just gorgeous. Fit and finish all the way around. Attention to detail. It's a satin... Satin finished blade, uh, blade. Oh man, I just love this. This is my favorite part about doing these videos is getting to play with this stuff. I think this is one of his older knives. I mean, not older, but like I think it's a couple years old. I'm not exactly sure. Um, my buddy uh, who I got this from, he's still learning more and more about knives right now, and he knows uh, a lot about custom knives. He just doesn't know all the all the details, and I'm trying to do the research for him, but uh, this is a tough one. I mean, Kirby Lambert's got a lot of knives on the market. Uh, I couldn't tell if it was an Incinerator, an Inferno, or an Orion. I, I don't know. Also, for those of you who don't have $1,200 to plunk down on a custom knife, you can get HTM makes them, Hand Tech Made, I think it's called, or Handmade Tech. Um, and Meyerco also makes like a really affordable version. Obviously, the quality isn't like this made in China. Uh, the hand tech made ones are U.S. made, and those are a couple hundred bucks. Really, really nice knives, though. For those who can't get into something that's really, really expensive like this. Oh, that clip is nice. And the, the lighting here is not really picking up the bronze, but it really, really is beautiful. And the ironwood. His choice of materials is really top-notch. Good jimping on there, too. Uh, it's got a recurve blade, as you can see there. Just a wicked recurve. And the sharpness of this thing is just unbelievable. And, uh, you know, I've had some spider codes with the CPM 154, and the steel holds up great. I don't know, you know, what the difference in hardening and all that that uh, Mr. Lambert here does, but I like the steel. I think CPM 154 and D2 are probably my favorite um, steels for uh, all around. You know, they got a little bit of everything with them. Hardness and edge retention, rust proof, all that good stuff. Alright, I'll stop talking now, give a couple good shots of this, and then call it a day. Uh, his website is Lambert Knives, if you want to get online and check out some of his stuff. Also, uh, Arizona Custom Knives sells them, True North Knives, uh, Knife Art, and I think there's a couple more out there too. But, um, anyway, gosh... Get one more good macro of this bad boy. Alright folks, episode 3, Knives Worth More Than My House. Peace!